This is Tom, who is a member of the Image Forum on my website. Now, uh, Tom is a photographer. In this case, though, he's become the model. Picture taken by a colleague of his, and I just thought it was an absolutely brilliant portrait. So, uh, looking at the image, I've got the hand tool selected. Just need to press Command or Control to zoom into this area here. And uh, you see, it's absolutely fantastic. I love the lighting. And I thought, how about adding a little bit of smoke to the cigarette? So, to make a start on that, we're going to come to the Layers panel, we're going to put in a new empty layer, by default it is called Layer 1. It's always a good idea just to rename your layers so you know exactly what's going on on this. We're going to call this one Smoke, because that's what it is. Right, coming across, make sure you've got the default colours of uh, black in the foreground, white in the background. If you've got any other colours, press D on the keyboard, that's the letter D, followed by the letter X, which will put white as the foreground colour. Picking up the paintbrush, there it is there, just taking a look. That's the size of the brush, that's the hardness of the brush. It's a hard edge brush we're using. If you just bring the brush over, if you right click, there's exactly the same dialog box, so you can make any changes there, but that looks pretty good. Just going to press enter or return to get rid of that dialog box. Just taking a look at the brush itself, clicking on this icon. Now they've changed the position in other versions of Photoshop. I've got a feeling it's over on the right hand side, but it's the brush engine, which you can also access from the window. There it is there, brush shortcut is F5. Now if you're using a graphics tablet, switch the shape dynamics on. So switch the shape dynamics on, that's with it off. That's with it on. It just allows you, as you apply pressure, so it gets bigger, as you sort of decrease the pressure, so it gets thinner. And so click OK. Don't worry if you're using a mouse. Just use the square brackets on the keyboard. R left, left to make it smaller, right to make it bigger. So just vary that as you're coming off. Just gently reduce the size down. Right, coming in, taking a look. You can see it's a hard edge brush. Go away, thank you. Coming up, just going to come round this area here. I'm just going to waft it back and forth a few times like that, and round we come, and then just gently easing off the pressure as we go through like this. Coming down to this area, just going to click down, bring it out, give a little bit of a twirl around like that, and just coming in, perhaps just a little bit of a spike out like that. It's looking pretty impressive so far. Round we come, and something like that job done. There is the smoke added from the cigarette. Well, at least the start of it. Because next we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to blur, we're going to go to Gaussian blur, and with Gaussian blur, let's just drag this back down so we can take a look. Click in, you can see there it is there. The preview is switched on, so you'll see it happening live on the image. As we move this across to the right, you can see the way it's now softening off the edges, coming through you get to the stage where it seems to just pop into position and it's it's that area there that's what we're looking for just that that looks pretty good click OK to that once you've done that back to filter this time to other next we're going to go to maximum once again just going to drag this down otherwise it will spoil the surprise because moving this across to the right hand side has quite a remarkable effect there you are, that's the government's latest campaign to get rid of smoking, is to strike it with lightning. But as you come through the way, you'll you'll notice it begin to sort of tail off until it gets quite a wispy sort of smoke. That looks, I like that, that looks uh, really nice, it looks nice and subtle. We're going to click OK, job done. Every time you do this, it comes out completely different, and that's what I like about it. And you know, you get some stages, you may prefer to rein it back. Just experiment. You really do have to experiment with this one. That's it so far. Like the way this is looking. I just wanted to come over the edge a little bit more. If we go to Edit, if we drop down to Free Transform, Command or Control T is the shortcut. That puts the Transform tool around it. If we now right click, we can come down to Warp, and this will allow us to move our smoke up like this and just pulling that one out of the side like that to take it over the edge would be pretty good. You can just lift it round into position, swirl it round a little bit, just make sure it comes down there. Job done. Pressing enter or return to remove that, and there it is. Coming in, 
we're going to pick up this smudge tool which is in with the blur the sharp and there it is there the smudge tool the strength is at 50 percent coming through with this from about this area here i'm just going to click down drag this around like that this is quite sort of soothing and relaxing to do and mesmerizing and you can see tom there is now falling under the hypnotic trance of this smoke as it whirls its way up and wake up tom right job done you can see it's coming up there nicely it's not on finger paint this is purely on the sort of the using the smudge tool itself if you do click finger paint what tends to happen is that it's just adding it back in so you can just put a bit more smoke in there if you want to switch it off again now just blur that in if we come down to the sides i'm just going to nudge it in just to make it a little bit thinner like this trouble is this is blending too well in with his beard to ask him if he could dye his beard next time right sort of bring it up the other way there you go job just about done with that yeah right like it leaving it at that position there if you want to sort of soften some of the areas off try picking up the eraser tool the eraser tool there drop the opacity not at 100 percent but drop it down to something like 20 percent just pressing two on the keyboard you can then come around that you can see the way we can just sort of get rid of some of the, that those bits and pieces if you want to make it stand out a little bit more you can do several different things command j control j you can duplicate it you can then perhaps just drop the opacity of this down and then blend it with the layer underneath using command or control e to drop it down i'm just going to undo that for a second because the other way you might like to try is coming down to something like outer glow there's outer glow now that puts in a fair bit of it you can sort of try dropping down the opacity even changing the color because really the smoke is going to be more of a gray color so we're going to drop the opacity down on this somewhere like that and dropping that down a touch or two you can even go to the color overlay there it is there on the gray perhaps just increasing that up a little bit to give it it really is entirely up to you experiment explore it because it can get some terrific effects uh, doing it live doesn't always work out that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it this is about take 57 i think it is well there's been many different varieties just taking a look that's with the color overlay doesn't do a huge amount leave that switched off there it is there with the outer glow that just gives a nice subtle effect to it you can always drop the opacity down as well something like that and there it is job done give it a go explore try it see how it works for you let's just drop the opacity on that down a touch or two more don't forget you can always use command control t just coming back into the warp just while I'm thinking about it, just pulling it up like that would be better. And there it is. Job done. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.